What's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy. Three, four, five, German. In today's video, man, we're gonna be giving y'all ways to prevent y'all Dodge Challenger RT from being stolen, y'all. So, so far, so good. I had my car for almost about a year. It'll be a year in August, and it's June right now, y'all. So, it's been a pretty decent amount of time, you feel me? And I had nothing happen with my car so far, so good. Just yet, I'm gonna cross my fingers, you feel me? But I didn't have no theft or anything going on with my car just yet. Um, due to these things that I did to keep it from being stolen and shit like that, man. So I'm gonna be explaining on what I did to keep it from being stolen. And I'm gonna put y'all boys on, man, just so if y'all got y'all a Charger RT, Challenger RT, SCAT, anything valuable to y'all, pretty much. If you feel like you need your shit protected, this is gonna be the video for y'all, man. So make sure y'all stick to the end because I'm gonna show y'all what I do to keep my Dodge Challenger RT from being stolen, man. The first thing y'all can do is y'all can see is you can go ahead and purchase yourself a car cover y'all as y'all can see mines don't cover it up fully because this is a big ass car these is bigger rims that it came with you feel me shit like that so it don't fit perfectly but what y'all can do is y'all can go ahead and get y'all a car cover so this would be an extra form of protection so say if like you're not at home uh say if you went to a friend's house and spent the night but he's staying like the trenches or you went to a cousin house something like that y'all and you just got to end up parking your car on the street you feel me I just throw this on just the extra form of protection. Even though this is still make somebody come walk up to it just to see what it is. I still throw this on just like to know like, all right, I woke up, somebody took my car cover off, you feel me? So I know somebody was messing with my car, you feel me? If y'all know what I'm trying to say. But y'all can go ahead and throw y'all a car cover on there, you feel me? Like I said, I'm gonna show y'all again um all around real quick. All right, y'all, on the number two or step number two on what you can do to prevent it from being stolen, y'all, is you can go ahead and, well, not go ahead, but you need to make sure you have a garage, y'all. This one is a must out of the list, I ain't gonna lie. Having a garage make it way easier for your car to not be installed, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. So, um, say if you move into a apartment, make sure it got a personal garage, y'all, or it got like a closed-in garage where nobody else can get in besides like a pen or something like that, or a house. Y'all just want to make sure y'all store this in a garage because it'll make it easier. Well, not easier. It'll make it way harder to find. Then, too, they got to break through the garage, etc. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, man. If you have this in a garage, it'll make it harder to steal. And then it's going to also keep your paint <coughs> and body of your car make way more in shape than it would be if you left it outside as well, too, y'all. All right, y'all. And on to the third step, man. Let me show y'all real quick. So, um, it will be getting a remote kill switch, y'all. So, you feel me? Y'all see my car locked twice and I just showed y'all my hand, you feel me? So that just letting y'all know that my kill switch was activated, you feel me? But you can go ahead and get to a remote kill switch. It's two different types of kill switches you can get. I got both of them. Um, I'm gonna drop the links in the description because I can't tell y'all the exact name of them, you feel me? But I can show y'all what they look like and I can show y'all where I got them from and shit like that, man. But you can go ahead and get you a remote kill switch, y'all, as y'all can see. Um, I'm going to show y'all in a second when I go inside real quick. I ain't going to show y'all where the location is, but I'm going to show y'all what it show you if you're trying to break into my car and steal it. So if y'all want this kill switch, y'all can go ahead and get y'all one of these. So boom. Let me cut off my lights because I left them on. So boom, y'all. I cut on a car, right? I get this far, you feel me? But y'all probably like, damn. Why yo, why yo, uh traction light come on press okay while your hazards blinking my electric light on as y'all can see and i at the top i got an enter pin y'all if y'all don't enter this pin within a certain time frame my car will turn off um you can't give it no gas look y'all if i put it and drive it's all of this cut on see it do all of this um and you will have to cut on the car once again y'all just from, from being stolen, y'all. So this is probably like one of the best kill switches that you can go ahead and tap into, man. So I'm not gonna lie, y'all should go ahead and invest in one of these. Like I said, it's two different types of kill switches that you can go ahead and get, y'all. To the bottom right here, y'all, you open up this door. Um, What you can do is, at the bottom right here, you can go ahead and get you an OBD2 port, y'all. An OBD2 port 
lock I, I apologize so we do two port lock if y'all know what i'm trying to call it y'all know what that part is down below right there y'all under belief of steering wheel but you will need to get the lock for that y'all y'all can order that off of amazon and it's a good way for you uh your car to not be stolen because if y'all don't know when they trying to steal it and they plug up the computer and shit they plug it up under there so they can uh basically uh clear the numbers to the van and shit so to, uh, it tricked the pcm into thinking that they actually got the file for the shit like that y'all so um that's a step that what you can do to also keep it from being stolen and shit like that man I don't know too much about it, but I do know that it's effective when they're working with the computer and the tablets and shit like that, y'all. If y'all know what I'm trying to say, if y'all seen any striker videos on, on the internet, y'all know what I'm trying to say, man. So that'll be the fourth one. And let me go ahead and give y'all the fifth step. Fifth thing you can do, y'all, is on the inside, y'all can go ahead and purchase y'all a neutral plate, a neutral metal plate cover, y'all. So if y'all don't know what that is, that is the thing in the middle of your car that they come in here and they lift up um when they come in your car they'll lift this up and they got a neutral strap right here y'all if you go ahead and get the metal plate for it it'll pretty much block this off so that way they wouldn't be able to lift this up and pull the strap and bro your car in neutral y'all so that's what that allows it to do y'all when they pull that it allow them to roll it in neutral but what you get in that lock that the metal plate it wouldn't be able to move a single bit y'all so you feel me that's another step that y'all can go ahead and do you feel me just to keep it for being taught like i said man i had my car for almost a year with no problems with just yet we crossed my fingers like i said hopefully nothing happened after this video because i'm giving away the sauce but like i said that was another step on what you can do man so go ahead i'm gonna drop the, every link in the uh in the bio of the video or the description of the video so i can tap into all these methods and ways to keep your uh shit from being stolen man but let's go ahead and hop on to the sixth step, man, because that's a lot of steps on what you can do. You feel me? So, boom, y'all. When y'all get inside, one of the things y'all can do is... Let me cut it on just real quick. You feel me? Let me cut it on just real quick. Um, What you can do, y'all, is y'all can turn y'all wheel all the way to the left and then turn it off. So, say if you didn't have a metal plate cover, you feel me, and they push it. Your wheel, due to your wheel being turned that way, they wouldn't be able to push it straight and shit. They will always have to try to keep the car at an angle to move it where they wanted it to move. Just because you got your uh, your wheel turned to this way. So, y'all know what I'm trying to say, man. Or vice versa. You can do it this way or this way, depending on your preference, you feel me? But always, you can turn your wheel, you feel me? You can turn your wheel all the way this way so the lock in place. Let me show you from the outside. Cut the car off. Let me show you what I mean by that. So, boom. Pretty much them trying to steal your car. This is what your wheel look like. So that bitch, y'all, as y'all can't see, your wheel wouldn't yet go nowhere. You feel me? So this is what y'all can do on uh, to get it being prevented from being stolen as well, man. But let me go ahead and give y'all like the seventh step, I believe. It's some step in this process on what y'all can do to keep it from being stolen, man. All right, two, two. We, are, I believe, we on the eighth or the seventh step. I don't know where we done got to, y'all, because we got so many of them on what you can do to keep it from being stolen. But uh, the next one that we on, y'all, y'all can go ahead and get y'all an air tag, a tracking device, any type of tracking device, y'all. You will want this on your phone. I mean, not on your phone. You'll want it on your car, paired to your phone. Uh, you will want to get to a 24-hour one, y'all, one that the battery lasts for a long time, shit like that. Um, you would just want you to get you a tracking device in your car, you feel me? So if it end up do get installed, you can track it, you feel me? You you know an exact location where it went to, so you could try to get it recovered. Shit like that, man. So make sure y'all get y'all like a tracking device. Put it on like the best spot that y'all think possible for it, you feel me? Um, if it end up getting found and they find it, that's because y'all ain't put it in a good enough spot, you feel me? But like I said, man. Get y'all a tracking device to prevent it from being stolen. Or if it did get stolen, you'll be able to recover it with the police, etc. man. Um, and now we're going to get on to the last thing of this video. And then we're going to end it off right there because I'm not trying to make it a dumb long video. But I know it's a lot of ways on what you can do to keep it from being protected, man. And a lot of people don't explain all of these in their videos and shit like that, man. So um, let me go ahead and put y'all on to the last step so we can end it off right here, man. Last thing you can do, y'all, to prevent it from being stolen, um, you can go ahead and get you a steering wheel lock, y'all. So I didn't say this just yet. I put this one on the end. I don't know why. But y'all can go ahead and get y'all a steering wheel lock, you feel me? Uh, that's the thing that go across your steering wheel. Um, you lock it with a key fob. It come with an actual key. 
um and it'll lock your well in place and it's like long so even if you try to turn it i think it'll like smack the ceiling if you know what i'm trying to say y'all i'm gonna uh put like a video up or like a picture up of what it looked like you feel me i'm gonna try to put a picture up of all of them if i got the energy for it if not y'all gonna see it just the way it is but um it's pretty much like a lock to where you wouldn't be able to turn your wheel either way so it's kind of just like the way what i said about turning it all the way but it's not you feel me it's just a way easier way to just keep it in place and not have to just turn your wheel you can keep it straight at this point because they wouldn't be able to do nothing unless they had like something real strong or heavy to break it off or they had an actual key for it y'all but i'm gonna go ahead and end the video off right here man like i said i'm not gonna make this a stupid dumb long video explaining on how to prevent it from being stolen but that was also the rest of the steps that I have for this video too, man. So make sure you boys like, comment, share, subscribe. And we're going to end this video off right here, man. Peace. Look at my racks solid. I see the grass getting long. Snakes, I'm going to mow it. I'm going to blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm sorry. Talk here, top of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Bib ain't rock, can't fall.